see, Jay. Should tell Angie the audio is on, but we'll get started. Oh, Angie? We got the audio on, just so you know. I like to warn everybody. Raza, they really like how you look, but you want to turn around and show them how pretty you really are? Oh, don't go away, Matt. Don't go away. Uh, we This year that's out of the box is because we have naughty kitties here. Naughty, naughty kitties. Uh, um, these things here came from um, Mama 3 Cat. And uh, it arrived. Remember that one box? Oh, I know what this is. Somebody's got to tell me I cut my head off again. Hang on. boxes here, three, four boxes here are, whoops, where's my slip, I'm so discombobulated, is from Mama 3 Cat, and this is the box that came last week when um, I, or we said that we had one box and we were waiting for the second, and this is the group of them, and then we had to wait for, to make sure that the lady who sent them was okay with us going ahead and opening, but in the meantime, since these boxes were sitting there for, what is that, like four days, uh, the kitties here in the rescue center completely destroyed them. The first day, they had already come kind of bunged up from the, from the travel here, and our cats immediately found a hole to get inside. And over the course of the last few days, they have just literally destroyed the box. So we actually threw the box out today because there was no box yet to be called a box. 
But there's um, the Fancy Feast Seafood, and this is what these are too. This is a case of it, and this is a case of it, and those are the, the classics. And then these, this one is sliced and this is grilled. It's just different bits and pieces of it. Are you helping me, Nick Fallon? <laughs> yes, yes, I am. Uh, the poultry and beef and, oh, and poultry and beef, they're the same but different um, texture to it. So thank you so much, Mama 3. So these all, and it was no wonder the box gave way because all of this canned good was in one box. So it just kind of crumpled. Oh, yes. You know what this is? This is the fish. The Whiska four pack fish. I'm going to leave it in here because Judy comes tomorrow, my sister Judy, and she's the one who organizes all the food. So I'll just hand it over to her tomorrow. And the chicken. Cool. Because the chicken one is the one we were getting kind of low on. Um, Bella really likes that. Also. And I think we'll get one of these packs out. And let Bella have some tonight and for tomorrow morning. So, thank you so much, Mama Three Cat. And we have one more box here that is also from her. And these were the Amazon boxes, come from Kentucky. What are you doing, Pocus? Watch your little toesies. Wow, boy, we hit the jackpot on food tonight. This is seafood grilled. Wow, this is awesome. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. Seven and eight is right here. Let's see which one this one is. Wow, you guys are not going to go hungry for a little while. Oops, darn, I opened it upside down. Let's see which flavor this is. Butter says, let it be fish. And it is fish. And if I don't put those back in there, Octavia, whoa, boy, baby, was she bad this morning or during the night last night while well, I'm putting this together. Um, Eric and Carrie, Mrs. Ohio Peepers, and Love My Pets, and their son Jim was here last night, and they had brought a couple of those plastic um, tray kinds of food that is packed with a real chicken and juicy well, we gave it to Bella last night, and she really, really liked it. A lot of you might have already known this. And um, they had only brought one, and they were kind enough when they left here to go back to Walmart and get some more. I don't know how many was in there altogether because Eric came in. Apparently, he set it on the counter, and guess who? Octavia got into it. And this morning I was starting to work and all of a sudden there was, I was realizing there was paper shreds and uh, the plastic containers everywhere. And uh, then according to the pictures that was on Facebook, it was Octavia. And uh, so I picked them up and I found three of them that only had puncture marks in the top, were not open, but she had done it. So I put those three in the cupboard and then got busy cleaning or doing something, came back out, and, and they were gone. She had gotten them. So we had to replace them because Bella really liked those. And I felt so bad because they went all that way to Walmart for, Be for Octavia to eat them. So between the cat food she takes out of there, not she'll take it on the counter, she rolls up the cobwebs, and she's the one I also have to keep all the eye ointment tubes. Some of those eye ointment tubes cost me like 8 to $10 for those itty-bitty tubes of antibiotic ointment for eye. If I leave them out, man, she's got them. Um, the other day, I accidentally, I just have to be better at putting things away. She, I had gotten a tube of antibiotic, not eye antibiotic, but the tube of like skin antibiotic out. And while I'm working, I left it over there. And she just chewed the heck out of it. So you squeeze it and it comes out in like 10 different places. Oh, somebody's got to adopt her. We love her so. But boy, she needs a, she needs a home. <laughs> we love her though. Oh, I think. Yep, 
I was given a heads up that this was coming. Uh, well, it doesn't say on here, but I think I have my little cheat sheet here. Anna Marie. I think this is from Anna Marie. And this was for Bella and, and friends, I believe. It's four cases of baby food. And uh, I so much appreciate this, and I know Bella does too. I could tell Bella was feeling a little better today because um, she was using her scoop foot uh, to scoop up some of the baby food again, which was very, very nice to see her do that. <clears throat> so... Anna Marie, I thank you for this. I know these are not cheap. These are do us a lot of good for the kitties. We use them in lots of situations. And um, these are much sought after. I'll open the rest of these afterwards. So thank you, Anna Marie. I'm very grateful for those. And Bella, of course, is too. Bella loves her baby food. Oh, gosh. And right now, especially because she's sharing her room with kitties, babies. This is from the Kentucky um, Amazon also. I wonder what Amazon thinks of sending all this kitty food here and the baby food. They probably think we're raising kids and kitties. we got the papers. We love the papers. Oh, this is from Anna. Yeah. Oh, this is Anna Marie. Uh oh. Oh, this is different stuff. This. Oh, this is get well, Bella. A hug to Anna Marie. So I, I'm pretty sure those are the baby food is from Anna Marie too. And if it, if I've made a mistake, please, please somebody correct me on there. Oh, this is a cheeky cat. It's all natural. Whole seafood, no byproduct. Oh, first ingredient is tuna. Hey, that's really cool. I've not seen this kind before. Well, oh, I wonder if because you, some of you guys were talking about using tuna juice to help Bella or any of them get started eating again. Yeah, there's lots of juice in there. So we'll give that a whirl too. And then... Wow, what is this? It's Halo Live a Little's 100% Wild Salmon Protein Treats. We'll, we'll, try, we'll share these as treats, but I'll make sure that Bella is... Oh, <laughs> treat the directions. That's one thing I'm bad on. I just want to blurt ahead and do... Hey, you guys can play with that. Ooh. Oh, yeah, there are that salmon, all right. We'll, get, we'll make sure Bella gets... Gets hers too. Hey, Asha, just real quick, you want one? Wow, well, how do they make these like that? Asha! Thank you, Anna Marie. And then there's one more case of baby food too. So this gives us five food today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I very much appreciate the baby food. I, I am full aware of the expense of these, which is pretty high. Casco! Casco sitting in there staring. I love him. <laughs> That's the brown one. In here. Yeah. There we go. Thank you so much, Anna Marie. I appreciate this so much. Yeah. You want that? And we'll get Bella. We'll get Bella some too. Boy, you guys, we got a mess here to clean up, but we like messes. This, uh, the top of the tag got cut off, but it's from Rhinelander, Wisconsin. Now, this doesn't actually say FFRC on it. Oh, but it is. Oh, but it is. Yes, sir. Oh, this is from um, Debbie J. This is Bear MN. This is one of our webcam viewers. Um, uh, Bear MN. I've seen I've seen her on there. KMR, KMR, big time. Oh, and you know what? They'll even have fun with this. KMR. Oh, these are called those skinnies for cats. 
I we've got these out and about on the floor, and the kitties like them. And when I see them, like in the mornings when I clean up, I'll um, keep the catnip out, and I'll I'll uh, stuff them. Some of them have stuffers on them. Now this oh this one doesn't. Oh wow, it smells like catnip. Yeah, it's catnip filled. Or I'll roll it in catnip, and it's like a brand new toy to them again. And I think there's one. Oh, there's a whole bunch of these in there. What is this little dude? What would you say? That's probably a squirrel. I think a squirrel and a and a skunk. And a critter. <laughs> For lack of whatever to call them. Oh boy, they really are strong smelling <laughs> catnip. Oh, do you smell that? Adora says, I like it, I like it. And we also have some more of the pill pockets. I've been using these for, oh, and greenies. The kitties love these. We don't get these too often. These are good. These are um, dental treats at Cat's Love. And uh, these are salmon flavored. Those are really nice. Uh, I've been... Uh, I've been using the greenies. Badu, now stop it. I've been using the greenies for a couple other kitties that's on oral meds. And they've been using it too. They've been taking it. Um, and for sure, remember how I said the Amazon stuff? And I don't know why or how, if it's a coincidence or what, but that Amazon stuff is always fresh. These uh, pill pockets are super fresh. They're real, real soft. Oh, but this one is from Foster's and Smith. Oh well, that's cool. That's Foster's and Smith. Well, they're 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 fresh. I can feel it. So thank you, um, Bear MN, for the KMR and the Greenies and the Pill Pockets. I always like Foster's and Smith. I've ordered from them before. Angie, we ought to put this in. The, oh, do you need this? Or you got one? We should put that in the treat box there. And we have everything. Make sure we don't miss anything. Do you guys want to play with some of these? I'm sure you'll find something to do with them. Wow, this is like the jackpot tonight. The jackpot of all jackpots. This one is from Canton Cat. The Canton Cat, who is, of course, from Canton, where we get her name from. Uh-oh, did you almost fall? Oh, <laughs> she's got lots of stuff labeled in here. This is for Bella. We have to move Bella's cards, too, because we moved Bella today. I'll tell you about that in a minute. And I will put this in her room. We'll move the other ones, too. Got a kitty with a, a cowboy hat. It says, oh, for Bella's care. Thank you. I appreciate that. My mom... Oh, this is from Sabrina, of course. Giddy up and get well soon. My mom told me about your surgery. Hope you are okay and back to scooting soon. <laughs> I had surgery once. It was horrible. Make sure you milk it for all you can get, though. I think she is. Please give this check to Jackie. My mom said you might have some medical bills, which we do for Bella. I don't know what those are, but I don't like the sound of them. Take care, Bella. Love, Sabrina T. Cat. Oh, Sabrina, you and your mom are so nice. It's got a, a, a cowboy kitty on there. That's pretty cool. And where's our envelope? I will hang this up in Bella's room. She's in a room now. I'll tell you about that here in just a minute. Um, whoa, sardines. This is for Cat's Cove when they moved to Kitty City. Jackie can have some too. <laughs> I love the sardines. And these are in water. You know the the three um, packs, the three cases that we got? I've been eating those. <laughs> well, I well, and I think I could share them a little bit with the kitties. So, but, oh, I love them. So I'll make sure those, Sabrina and Canton, that the kitties in Cat's Cove get these when they move up. I better put, I better write that on the can. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, where is that envelope? we got to keep this together. And 
where's my pen? Are you taking Octavia? You were on my bad list this morning. See, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Ooh, this is for the Oldsters and Bella Pink Salmon. You know, we had gotten this before, and we did use it for the Oldsters. And uh, Putter does like this, the Pink Salmon. That's nice. Oh, there's... Oh, this is another sardine. And I'm with this. Oh, I love all these notes. Jackie, I hate this flavor of Fancy Feast. Maybe Kiara likes it? It's yucky. Sabrina, tea cat. Well, I can tell you right now, Sabrina, this is Chop and Grill Feast, and Kiara and all the others will like it. Poor Sabrina. Tell your mama to get you something yummy then. And, oh, this is, this is that clavamont. Jackie, last year I was so sick. I had to go to a doctor. My mom made me take this yucky medicine. I got better after one box, so she kept the other box just in case I got sick again. I'm never getting sick, so maybe you can use this. Don't tell my mom that I sent it from Sabrina. We do use we do use the Clavamox, and it's not mixed up yet, so that means it's still good. And we, we will probably use that this week, actually. Thank you for sending that, Sabrina. We'll take your yucky medicine. And posty notes, of course, which you all know I love posty notes. I don't think I could survive without them anymore. And oh, we have gotten one other pack like this. This is four of the whiskers. These are nice. They're the white fish and tuna. You see that? You can't have it tonight. You're going to be under lock and key tonight, Octavia. And this is for. Aw, this is for the feral family. Aw, this, so this will be for the kitties that's in um, the the big red barn. And they're the fancy feasty lights. Aw, that's nice. Isn't that nice to think of them, too? These are with the cheddar. These always look so good. Yeah, these are the delights, which means I think that they all have cheese in them. I'll put these... Um, I'll keep these separate, Angie, and then I'll put those by the door and we'll take them out to the big red barn tomorrow. These ones up here. Yeah, thank you. That's really nice to think of the outside kitties, too. And these we'll keep up here. And I just got to keep her out of them for a little while. She is not to be trusted. You showed us that. Oh, she, her, Octavia is sitting here with her nose just a twitching and a twitching. She's kind of fun, though, isn't she? <laughs> she, she cost us money, though. All the food that you get into, girl. She doesn't care. She likes it. Um, we do love you. I feel like I pick on her sometimes, but it's all in fun. I had just a few things. Oh, today's been a crazy day for me, so I didn't get to write down a whole lot of things I wanted to. Um... We did move Bella today. Uh, she's been up here in Patience's pen, and as a lot of you know, she's got two buddies, and one of them is Weasley, and it's that long-haired gold cat kitty, a baby kitty, that Jody has been boarding. And uh, then the other one we put in there to keep her company is um, Dulcie, our, our little baby brown tiger. And they're doing really good in there. It's kind of cute because Mrs. Ohio Peepers and Eric and Jim brought Bella a uh, stuffed uh, monkey yesterday, which is in there on the floor with them. And they're all cuddled up around it. So what we did, Bella kept wanting to come out and come out and come out of the patient's pen today. So we took our big quilts, made it about this thick like what Stacy would do, and we bedded down uh, June's room. The whole thing is bedded down. And I put things up on the counter so that Bella wouldn't try to jump up. But that's not her thing anyhow, to, to jump like from the floor up there. She just physically can't do it. So that was a real safe room for her. She has been sleeping and sleeping and sleeping again today. But she's also, one time, I don't know if some of you saw this happen today, but we went in there to get something and she darted out of there and it was her butt scooting scooting thing got her over here and I she was bent on going man so she's back in her room and her incision looks awesome it looks really really good 
We've been taking the collars off. I've used all three of them for different times, different whatever's happening. It seems like they have little different purposes. And she's doing really good with all of those collars. Um, she is actually leaving her incision alone much, much better. So today is Monday, Wednesday. It'll be a whole week. Saturday we'll take her sutures out. Everybody was worried about her not pooing. She did a little bit this morning. Uh, Angie, do you know if Bella poopied in there in the litter box? Okay, well, I'll check it real good in the morning because uh, um, we'll make a little bit maybe if she did. But, you know, between the medicines she's on, uh, not eating there for those first two days, the anesthetic alone, and just her inactivity level is kind of slugging up her intestinal tract. So we've got some things working to help help remedy that. So I think we'll, we'll have some good luck on that. But she's doing awesome with the babies. Today, Jody said, come over here and look. And so we went over to the door and was looking in there. And Bella, you know how she kind of leans back on her hips? She had uh, Weasley right here in her belly area and with her paw over it and was grooming um, little Weasley. It was so, so cute. And Weasley hasn't done his in that concept, meowing, meowing, meowing that he was doing. He seemed so much more at ease. So we've got them here, um, and they're just just doing really, really good in there, I think. Um, and again, I want to thank uh, Carrie and Eric and, and Jim for bringing that special food for them. Okay, we got some news on Nova, Marja, and Bettina. I, I did tell some of you on the chat there a little while ago. They called this afternoon on my way home. And uh, they're, they've still got all three of them. They're still deciding which two are the two for them. But it sounds like uh, they like all three of them really well. They're going to give me an answer tomorrow. So fingers crossed. Good thoughts. Send them that way that maybe they're, they're not on the chat. They don't have a computer. So um, hopefully they'll keep all three. That would just be awesome. I did also hear from Mitty. Remember Mitty had went to a home and... They, I had mentioned one time not too long ago that they were still interested in a, another adult cat. Um, they, I talked to them, I think that was yesterday, and they're still interested in another cat. And remember, Mitty's one that I took to them, similar to what we did with Nova, Marsha, and Bettina. So we'll see. Hopefully they'll call up and say, just bring us somebody, and we'll kind of go through. Because... Uh, uh, Mitty that they have, I think we get along with everybody. We had, some of you saw uh, uh, so a visitor here on Sunday. Uh, that was yesterday. That seems so long ago. Uh, that was here looking for a uh, kitty. Uh, actually a teenager size and she will be back. There's so many of them that she really liked. And um, I think she'll probably be back. It might take her a couple months because she's had some schedule changes, but she will be back and she will adopt, I know. We also have a couple tentative adoption leads on a couple other kitties that I'll let you know as soon as they firm up a little bit, and those I've gotten through the email. Wouldn't it be cool if somebody emailed me and said, we want Badu? We hope so. That It will happen. It's got to happen. CJ, that's in Dodger's pen, is doing better today, all day today. We've left her pen door open, and she's actually come out a couple times. She's a little bit of a scaredy girl, but she's doing better, and she's eating better. Did she eat for you good, Angie? She was still, still eating. So she's doing better, and the diarrhea is much, much better. But when you're holding her, she's just a real sweetheart. She's, she's really a, a nice girl. It's just a little intimidating, I think, with all of this kind of activity, but I think she's going to be fine. We took in, uh, some of you knew, and I just want to tell you, this new kitty that we took in, I have not tested yet, so I was hesitant to say anything, and then I got brought up on on the chat what we were doing. This little kitty is pretty little. Um, it's a gray kitten, and I have not tested it yet, so please, please bear that in mind. I, I never like to even bring it up, but... It was already seen on chat. This little kitty's so little that I wanted it here in the rescue center because of its injuries, which is 
we've got her back there, the little girl in pin one. She belonged, no, she didn't belong to a family. She was found by a family two, three days ago, and they were not really financially able to take the kitty in, so they asked if we would. And I'm glad we did. This poor little kitty, the paw, you know, was just humongous compared to what the paw size should have been. It's completely lacerated and abraded back here in this whole area and cut quite severely right in here. So it doesn't have a lot of use of that paw yet. They thought, and it does have a huge swelling area here. They had thought it was fractured. But I'm, I'm not so positive that it does have a fracture. If by morning when the swelling continues to go down that we feel it has a fracture, we're going to get it up for an x-ray tomorrow. So it just depends on, on how that leg looks in the morning. But gosh, he, she was really hungry. She ate and ate and it's just a happy little thing. Just a real sweetie. I picked it up this morning, was just holding it in the hand and it just kept curling around like, just hold me and pet me. And, it was pretty sweet. So she doesn't have anemia. We're not going to. I shouldn't talk about her too much because we haven't got her tested, but it's going to be okay. I just know it has to be. Uh, I'm not going to pronounce this right. H. F. Rick, Rickson is one of our chatters. Asked about Farrah's on the meds. We're in our seventh week, I think. She's doing awesome. Still continuing to take her medicine. Just like a pro today, this afternoon she was over here. I wanted to give her her meds before I left. So I went to the drawer and just shook the bottle and zoom, 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 zoom. She come right over and scarfed it right down. She did really good. And Oscar Sophie asked how Bella is doing, which we did do that, and how Steve is going. Oh, I'm telling you, workman's cough drives me insane. Just to make a really long story short, we do not have a surgery date. They're going to put him in a brace tomorrow to help with the trying to save the ligament. That will be the best ligament that's left in his leg to make the surgery be as good as what it can be. So he's going to wear that. Uh, we have to go through the waiting line of Workman's Comp okaying it. It was supposed to have been in process three weeks ago. It was discovered it was sent to the wrong Workman's Comp. Anyhow, it's been a mess. So hopefully within 10 days we'll get a yay or nay. If it's a no, then we will appeal it. So it might be a long, drawn-out process. I feel so bad that it's like that form, but we're, we're following through real closely on it. Um, Carolina Ash, Ash asked, oh, how was the movie? It was good. We saw Footloose. I loved it. I liked that. It was really a good movie. I, we saw the first one. And the popcorn was scrumptious. And how Kellen is doing. Karen needs every good thought that you can send to her. Karen is totally frustrated like I am with the medical field sometimes. She's getting all kinds of stories about Kellen, what they should be doing from different doctors today. And it's just totally confusing. One doctor says one thing and one doctor says the complete opposite. It's nothing is jiving together or making sense. So... But she's, she's my girl. She's organized. She um, is going after this. She's a very big, firm, um, detail person. And she's Kellen's advocate person. She will go after it and she will figure this out. And Kellen's, Kellen's got a good mama and dad. They, they will figure it out, what, what they're supposed to be doing. Wildfire asked if there was any holds or adoptions. Uh, well, you know, the ones that we've had recently were um, Mary Catherine was adopted, um, Blink, oops, I'm on the wrong line, uh, Tukey, Dippy, and Taurine, and, and Tukey, and then we've got, as you, as you know, the Nova Marja Patina group we're working on, and then a couple more that I'm working on through the... Um, email. Remember, October is our lowest, lowest month. It has been forever consistently the lowest month of every year is this month for adoption. November starts going up. December, January, February are our real high ones, so it'll pick up. I'm not worried. I know we'll do okay. I asked if I got my purse back. Yes, I did. I left it at my parents and got all the bills done for the rescue center as best we can and for Earth Angels also. Nuki asked for a profile on a volunteer. Hey, Angie. Do you want to come here a minute and help me? Uh, Sunny asked 
talked about the older couple. We went over there and Mew, or Meow asked why the squirt bottle tonight. The reason for that is because Jody, that was um, Riley that was doing it, and with good reason. Jody had uh, Einstein, the bird, out here, and Badu went berserk, and it needed to be a quick try to stop the attitude. And then when, you know, Badu, Badu she's either fairly good or just kind of goes downhill and when she gets in these little attitude problems she just spirals down out of out of control real quick and she was uh, um, being very bad to some of the kitties so it's and she gets to the point where we can't physically touch her because she gets a little grumpy so the squirt bottle is the safest they wanted a profile on a volunteer and who better than you angie was my very first <laughs> Volunteer. I think what they wanted to know was how you found out about us when you came, and, and why are you why are you staying with why us? Why am I still here? <laughs> you won't let me go. I she signed a hundred year contract. <laughs> Ooh, that made me really old. <laughs> um, like Jackie said, I started um, the spring um, after they opened the rescue. Um, I found out about it because you had done the wildlife orphanage previously mm -hmm. and my husband and I would um, donate to that and right. come out and he would check some of the animals for you. Um, and then that spring we had a bird that hit our car. Yep, I Blew remember. I the forgot car, about that. It was that. parked in the driveway and we brought it out and that's when I actually found out that you were doing the, the actual rescue. rescue. Again, and you asked for volunteers, <laughs> and I came with my daughter Elizabeth, and who's now 21. So she, oh my gosh, yeah, she's not available much anymore. She's in college, so I just don't come out. <laughs> no. But Angie stuck with us. She's you've been Monday night for uh, Monday nights probably for. Yeah. Five years, oh, maybe even six. Um, prior to that, I think it was mon er, in the morning, one right. morning. Yeah, because you used to yeah. clean, and then yeah. you had to go to the evening. Yeah, yeah. when I started working in yeah. Toledo. Yeah. So Angie's been here a long, long time. Long, long time. She's gone through a lot of kids. <laughs> with it. I yeah, you know, I've said it so many times that we have the best volunteers in the world, and I, honest to God, I believe that with my whole heart. Um, most of these volunteers, when they come, they they stay, and we love it. And uh, they're just they're just the best. They they Angie, you have rarely missed a night. I On occasion, <laughs> rarely. She's even going <laughs> camping, <laughs> and then she'll come up. back. I forgot it was Monday. Um, but they're the best. They're they're just really awesome. And just like you've seen Connie D a lot this week. She's filled in for some of them that couldn't come for, you know, legit reasons, and she's been willing to help help extra. There's just there's just the best. I, I I really did. I used to think at the very beginning when I started this, when Dawn and I started this, my daughter, um, that we could never. I've told some of you this. We could never ever get so big that if something happened that I couldn't take care of it all by myself. Because I didn't think that that was right to make it bit, build big, whereas if people just couldn't help us, that I couldn't carry on. And, you know, that didn't last <laughs> at all. <laughs> because it just it just got crazy really fast from the very beginning. So um, we've had a lot of people come through here, lots of college students and teenagers, some teenagers. We're, we're careful on the ages. Um and I think our very, I think our oldest ones are Dee and Dorothy. Dorothy is, I think she's 80, I'm going to get this wrong, you guys might know, 82 or 83, somewhere, somewhere in there. It's just awesome. So that's our story on Andy. Um, <laughs> I think I've answered, oh, the world tour. I, I got a note from Severin. I can't even tell you whether I think that came through uh, the face through email maybe. Severin's got some awesome pictures of the Patty Baby um, in London. They're really cool. And I have not had time today to get back on Facebook, so I'm not sure if they're posted yet. I do know she knows who 
she's sending the box to. Just keep in mind, that's one thing I wanted to let you all know, too. Keep in mind, everybody that was interested in receiving the Patty Travel box, all I did was copy those names and addresses, stick them in the box with a note. You, you can use these or you don't have to. Whoever receives the box has the um, privilege of sending it on to whoever. But uh, I know we had a lot of names, and when Patty gets done with the 20 visits, the patty box will come back here. We'll kind of regroup, put everything together, and then we'll do it again. So we should start seeing things uh, start happening on Facebook pretty quick about that. So I think that's all we have tonight. And uh, I thank you guys so very much for supporting us. We're still number one in the animal rescue site, so keep voting. We notched up a little bit more, a uh, little bit more lead. Oh, it still makes my makes me worry, but uh, we're we're on our way, and uh, I just thank you all for the wonderful amount of food, the treats, the posty notes, the toys, the salmon, just everything. I'm just beholden to you all. Thank you. Racer comes back tomorrow. Kurt comes back tomorrow. He stayed an extra night. He got bogged down with lots of things there to do. Um, so we're looking forward to Kurt coming back too tomorrow. So thank you all. Have a good evening, and we'll see you later. Um, when we get done in here and clean up, we'll get the cam down on the playground area and probably just leave the audio on now for the night till, till tomorrow sometime. So thank you, everybody. Angie, thank you for putting all this food away, too. And we got to move. Or I'm, I will I'll move Bella's cars. I think that's pretty cute. She's got three cars of her own. <laughs> her very own. For Bella and the old stirs. I think we'll put a few of these in. There's my boy. You know, he's been excellent. He has not pottied inappropriately even one time. There's Wiggles. <laughs> I hate this flavor of Fancy Feast. Maybe Kara likes it. I'll put these out too. Oh, it's there. Okay. Uh, is that from today? Yeah. Okay, cool. And maybe maybe a few of the sardines and I'll use I'll 